All the stories mentioned in the game are fictional, damn. Any resemblance to the biography or appearance of real people is yeah, coincidental. Darn. Step Hair Studio. I have heard how my parents died. My brother and I were sitting in a locked bedroom and could only listen. We heard the knife stabs until their screams stopped. The police decided that our parents were accidentally oh. killed during the robbery. Accidental? I believed it. And but they drop a no box of knives onto somebody? Especially immigrants like us. <laughs> After a month in the orphanage, we were picked up by the only remaining relative in the States. A woman named Randolph. A medium. Our grandmother. Our mom never talked about her. And hid away her letters without opening them. I think that Mrs. Randolph thought that she cared about us. She taught us. I still remember rituals, prayers, and constant promises to reveal what happened to our parents. But later, it was always later. When will we be ready? My brother was the first one to escape. He joined the police force. I left her after. I, like my mother before, did not respond to her letters. They were just another promise to reveal some secret if I came back. When they stopped, I sighed with relief. Finally. A local lawyer visited us shortly after. Grandmother was killed, stabbed with a knife. They suspect a robbery. The voices of my parents came back, and they wow. are not alone. Our town is eating itself. Death comes for our people, for my friends, and I can't take it anymore. Grandmother was trying to understand what was wrong. She tried to tell us, and I'm starting to believe her. She solved crimes. She helped the police to find the perpetrators. Oh. I have to take her place. I have to go back to her house. So I gotta go to this house where she just got fucking knifed. So I can start solving murders? Go to the table and take the documents. Bro. I can hardly fucking see. Very funny. Uh, let's do Harrison. Go right down the list here. Wait. Two Meadow Street. It was Harrison Hawkins, that son of a bitch. Oh, there's, yeah, all right, he's none of those things. So, anywho, uh, cool. Let's go tell Matt Harrison Hawkins. Boom. We'll be back in 20 or so, doodling in Valheim. All right, cool. Her methods are working. Who would have thought? Well, okay, if you're so anxious to find out what's wrong with our town, let's work on it together. Hmm. Alright. I'm glad they had the tutorial. Because if that was me in the regular game... Nah. So, here we go. Uh, legitimately chapter one coming up. Or day one. Gift from God. Oh, boy. Gift from God. I was allowed to take part in the preparation for a major court hearing. On the outskirts of town at 18 Barnhill Street lies the Fulton Farm, home for a closed and deeply religious family. As it turned out, they were too religious. Earlier this year, one of them murdered their youngest relative in their own home. Whoa. As a sacrifice. All of the Fultons now cover the murderer, but only one of them made the sacrifice. I, mean, no, I don't even know who was in the house. Try using doubts to find the murderer. So send the killer's dots here. Send his or her distinctive feature by using dousing ritual on the victim and send where the killer was during the murder. The time of death is marked in the victim's dossier. Okay. Dousing ritual for the feature of a killer. Find the room marked with a dousing rod sign. What the hell is the dousing rod sign? I mean, maybe this is it. It looks like it actually. Put the victim's dossier on the stand. Walk around the house crossing. Of the rods will indicate the direction towards. Uh... Oh, 
Oi! Uh, working. I need to go over that way. Ah! Fucking son of a bitch. <sighs> Plot. Murderer is 30 years old or older. Shit, it's not Nathan. He's 29. It's 30 or older. Alicia's 28. It was either Annabelle or Conrad. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Fuck off. Which would indicate that one of the mirrors has been opened. The dousing rods will point the way to that mirror. Close as soon as possible to get rid of that intruder. Oh. Oh. Yo. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. So it was January 8th. The year was 1904. 11th hour. Barnhill Street on the 18th. Okay. So now we just gotta figure out who was at Barnhill Street on the 18th. Either Annabelle or Conrad. She was also there. Let's see who else was there. Was Conrad there as well? Please tell me no. He wasn't there. He was on Four Glower Street. Well, not the book, but this thing. Clue number one. Clue number two. Wait. Yeah, that bit. Dossier. So send the killer's dossier. Yep. Send his or her distinctive feature by using dousing ritual on the victim. Boom. Send where the killer was during the murder. The time of death is marked. In the okay. Yep. Okay. I did, I did it right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Sending. I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I saw the autopsy results of our grandma and found a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also doesn't match up. They are too similar and weird. Knife strikes were aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards but almost perpendicular to the body. Oh, God. Maybe she's killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged. If so, then someone was trying to disguise premeditated murder who wished her death. I will try to find the last people she spoke to. <clears throat> as long as it tells me if a mirror is active, because if it doesn't tell me, then I'm not going to even notice. Tough lesson. Are you sure everything is all right? I know that night you were busy helping me, and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house. Ah, but there's a limit to everything. Maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just reaction to a lack of sleep. Do me a favor and go to rest as soon as you finish this case. A local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of the church. This case should not interest us if the headmistress of the same school had not died of a heart attack at the exact same hour. Do I know about other another coincidence? The headmistress corresponded with our old woman for the last several years. Autopsy has shown they were poisoned an hour before their death. Find out who did it. Oh, snap. So we'd have to send the killer's dossier. Mark where the killer was during the poisoning. It happened one hour before the murder. The perpetrator and the victims had to be in the same place. Makes sense. Send two of his features by using dousing on two victims. 
got it. So there's two different things we have to pick up. Okay. Let's get to work. First and foremost, where was Mr. Kelly? He died in the 13th hour. Month was the first. 28th day. You know, four. So he was on uh, Six Rutland Road, and that's gonna. Okay, hold up. Can we stop? Or are those the doors just closing automatically, which is hysterical? But I think they've been doing it. So she should be on the same spot, right? At least I thought so. No, an hour before. Shit. Okay. Jesus, fuck. Alright, real quick. Um... Yeah, let's go back to Aaron Kelly. Now that I have the right time. Mm hmm So they were both at 7 Nower Road. It doesn't, it doesn't matter he died in Rutland. I like how we can close that out. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to look at the four of these. Start with Tristan. Okay, it was Tristan. <laughs> Well, no, more people could have been there, though. More people could have been there. As you said, the three of them had to have been in the same place. Alright, so it wasn't the wife. Ooh. It could have been Spencer. Could it have been Miss Park? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> we eliminated one of them. We eliminated Diana Kelly. She is definitely innocent. So she's not a problem. The other two is still fucking... Uh, three is still fucking suspects. Okay, cool. I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, this is the room over here. Ugh, the whispers. All right, so first put down Mr. Kelly. On the side of the door. A little dinosaur. The toys. The color of the toy shows the color of the murderer's eyes. Green. they selected okay so who has green eyes Tristan has green eyes oops Spencer has blue eyes Molly has green eyes so that eliminates Spencer burn so it's either Tristan or Molly and we can figure out the other one by putting on Florence Else. A red dress? Okay. So a red dress. Clothing. The color of the clothes will tell you the color of the hair. I don't think any of them have red. Yeah, it's not red. I think maybe it's brown. It's brown. Oh, shit. Light's going out. So we know for a fact it's brown hair. Right? We, we did say that. <laughs> so, 
that is going to be Tristan because Molly's hair is black. Hello? I was trying to... Yeah. So, she's innocent. That leaves Tristan. This son of a bitch. Oh, right there. What does that mean? Oh, okay. You're very concerned there for a second. So, the dossier. Tristan is the killer. We know that because he was at Nower Road. And the killer has brown hair and green eyes. Send. Whew. Mr. Koenig told the investigator about how the school treated his son. The teachers did their best to make him quit the school. This Irish boy should know his place. Another nonsense you'll hear in old families. It'll end with the teacher persuading other children to beat him up. It worked too well, and now this boy will not be able to walk. Mr. Koenig said that his son's future was taken away from him and he couldn't bear it. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. It turns out that she was in active correspondence, not only with the headmistress, but with several professors throughout the country. They discussed some scientific issues. I will study her letters and report the results later. Day three, working disagreements. <clears throat> An old policeman asked us for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he will tell us why. This interests me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved. Mr. Bones, <laughs> Mr. Bones, a sailor dismissed from the Navy, quarreled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. He threw the body to the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was, dra was drank. <laughs> Yo, he was drank! <laughs> so he has absolutely no memory in which cellar the body lies. Got it. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for a burial. Determine the hour of death and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell us something new about our old woman. Yo, what? So we have to figure out the time of death and where the fucking... Oh, my God. The Wheel of Thanatos will help you find out the exact time of death is located on the first floor. Oh, so we have a new room. Sick. So, he was born July 11th. She's a cancer. Okay. So, that's the 69. Because <laughs> it's like pointing at it. I think that's right. Turn the wheel there so that the black arrow points the direction of the person. Okay, cool. Identify the key letter of the first name. It depends on the element as described on the next page. Alright, so the key letter of the name. So the first... Shit. Something got out quick that time. So again, the fire sign is the fire is A. Can we not, please? What does that even mean? You're dumb! That was close. Heartbeat was going on everything. Turn the uh, icon means the death happened in the morning. 
the fuck is that? What the f Please I'm trying to work. I feel like I hear like someone's talking in the other room, but there's nobody there. Shit. Shit. That was close. Hit the wrong fucking button. So weird. Anyways, gonna go change the signal. Fucking asshole. First letter of the f shit. It's the bathroom one. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't good. So it's saying it was at the 24th hour. Second day. First month. I don't, I don't pick that up at all. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's water. I got confused the two colors. The red arrows aren't always red. I, I mean, it, it, it is. Shit. Fuck you. So, because he's a cancer, his symbol is water. The last letter of the name if it has identical letters the key letter of the surname is the last one if not then it's the first one S it's N and S N is 5 S is 3 5 3 son of a fuck okay cool so let's put down Aaron and again, his death was January 2nd, 2400. Alright, where were you, buddy? Six Meadow Street, cool. Let's put Colin down. Location of the victim at the hour of death. The location of the suspect at the hour of the death. Okay, that's all they wanted? Cool. You're definitely... We know you're the killer. Let's go. Alright. I didn't realize she was still going to be there. I guess that explains the... The noise. Oh. Okay. Location of the victim of the hour of death. Location of the suspect of the hour of death. Okay. I checked the place you indicated and found the body, so our new friend agreed to tell us about his work with our grandma. Previously, she was often approached by local officers, and she helped them without any charge. It all ended because of the last case. She's found for them one particularly brutal gang but they were released because of the personal order of Judge Brooks. The next day all 12 criminals shot themselves. They say that the last of them was muttering something before his death. There's something about the voice of God calling them from beyond. The police didn't work with our old woman after that. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> oh. 
our grandmother was like, uh-uh. <laughs> you going to die anyways. Oh, shit. This might be the last chapter, I think. Day four, Sins of the Past. Or I should say the last chapter for today. I don't know how many chapters there are. The whole city knows about this case. In 1882, smugglers on a run from the rangers hid in a house on the outskirts of the town. <clears throat> excuse me, at one South Way Road. He killed a local shepherd and his family. The case was closed many years ago. Now part of the gang has decided to move back to our town. I've already found them. I know that almost all members of the gang were involved in that case. I don't need your help to find the guilty. On the opposite, send me the names of those who were not in that house in 1882 in the day of murder. They will go to jail. The rest of them will meet the gallows. <laughs> send the dodgers of those gang members who did not participate in the murder. They were not at the crime scene at the hour of murder during the massacre of 1882. Okay, got it. Why can't I find it? Oh, it's right there. Her <laughs> her shiver. Okay. Um, so we know it's air science. Le third letter of the name or the first if the name has less than three letters. Oh my god. Zachary is more than three. So the third letter of the name. C. C is a three. So red goes to three. Okay. Um, and then the last name. Again, this is uh, Gemini, so it's air. If there are more than five letters in the surname, then the key letter of the surname is the fifth one. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. So it's A, and that's a one. Blue goes to one. It was nighttime, so add 12 to four. That's 16 for the hour. Day, we have the 20th month we have the 11th <laughs> now what if they're more than fellers in the surname one two three, oh because i did i did zachary not harrison shit hold up Holy shit. What the fuck, man? Oh. They literally got me right right as I started feeling comfortable with the game. Right as I felt comfortable. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we've relit that. God, that that sucked. That sucked huge dick. I was not ready for that. Um So last name is the fifth letter. One, two, three, four, five. It's an I. I is a one. Wait a minute. But I'm already on the one. I've got eleven month. 20 for day, 4 plus 12 is 16 hours, and, oh, date of death, 1882, duh, I never switched it, the fuck is that noise, got him, okay, now, to the compass room, alright, Zach, we now know what time you died, so it was the 11th month, 20th day. Sixteenth hour, 1882. 1882. All right, where were you, my, f oh, we know where you were. It's right there. I like that. So now I'm gonna do is just switch them right out, right down the list. You're dead. You're dead. Oh shit! 
I'm like, what's that noise? Every fucking time. He was out of town? So Jackson was out of town. Were you also out of town? You were across the street. And Julio. Also out of town. So. The people that were innocent are the last three. Jackson, Dexter, and Julio. Edward and Jamie were there. So it was Jackson and Julio. Send. Well done. We will visit them tonight. Still as strange as they came back here after so many years and take the risk of being executed. They're not the only ones, though. We've always arrested several wanted criminals who suddenly just showed up in our own town. The new judge is tired of sending death sentences. It seems to be me that we began to attract all kinds of madmen. I guess so.